Hello and welcome to this brand new episode of my channel, I'm Bood FM. thanks for tuning in. Um, if you are brand new, make sure you check out my current series, my FM18 series with Manchester Central, Manchester's third and forgotten club. It's quality, get into it. Um, hopefully you'll subscribe as well. I've just recently hit, from the filming of this, I've just recently hit 3,000 subscribers, so I'm really, really pleased and I appreciate every single one of you that has subscribed. Right, the video, as always you've seen the thumbnail and the title, and you've probably seen my other video I did, I think it was last week, called Building a Nation with San Marino, it was a bit of an experiment that was built on from another video I did a few a while back, um, a Home Nations video, You'll, you should find it in the playlist for this video, um, and I was just checking out youth rating, and I give all, I give all the Home Nations the maximum youth rating, um, England stayed roughly the same, um, Ireland, Republic of Ireland, uh, Wales, Scotland, um, all got better players, they didn't dominate, they went from being like rank 60th to rank 30th, so I thought I want to test it out, and I want to test it out in a more hardcore um, small country, so I'll use San Marino, but this time, as if you've seen the other video you'll know, but if you haven't, um, I changed the youth rating, I upgraded their domestic league to professional, I gave them all good uh, facilities as well, and I made the game important in that country. Um, and within 20 years, they were in the top 10. They had been top five, and they'd won the UEFA Nations League, and they had loads of great players. The, the home league wasn't very good. Um, a lot of the players, when you look into it, the save file's available if you want it in the video, check the description of the San Marino video. Again, I'll do that today with this video. But um, it looked like everyone, they'd have a good player, he'd stay in San Marino for a year or two, and then he'd leave to go to a so-called bigger um, football in country like the Premier League or Serie A and things like that so I wondered because I was quite shocked by it really how well they did was it a one off was there a certain chain of events that happened um, and it won't happen again so I thought let's try Gibraltar being British I left them out of the home nations um, so we try Gibraltar uh, and see if we can do it again let's have a look at what I've done here we are with the editor, um, it's just the bug standard editor, how it comes as soon as you download it. I've not uploaded my Gibraltar database. I just want to show you what things are like now. With San Marino, San Marino were ranked um, 200 in the world. And I think Gibraltar ranked 205. So, and they've got a smaller population as well. San Marino's population uh, was about 33,000. I think Gibraltar's is 23,000. So let's just have a quick look. Here's the country themselves. Good old Gibraltar. Now, there you go. Currency, the pound. Good old British pound. Um, now the reputation is very small. Attendance is set on zero because they're not going to have much. We've got information. They've got no e economic factors. Yes, the game nationality is three. Um, game importance. Game importance is on important. They do like football a bit more than the San Marino people. Um, but I did. I've changed that to very important. I've upgraded the economic factor to match the rest of Britain. Um, I think I changed that to two as well. Um, also, their youth rating. Obviously, I've put it on. I put it on one nine nine, um, and I've changed. I've just upgraded everything else. And um, the domestic league as well. Let's have a look at that. Right, this is the league. And also, before I keep on going, I'm not well. I am pretty poorly. I'm on lem sips and Horlicks, all that stuff. Um, but I'm soldiering on with my content. Right, is they've got a Premier League, I think they've got first division. Now all I've done on my database, I've just activated the Premier League, I couldn't be bothered with both leagues. Um, so they've only got the, the main division, which is this one, which isn't very good. Um, I don't, I've not touched that. I did on the San Marino while on this one, I wanted to let it grow naturally. If it's got better players, let it grow naturally. Um, so that's what we've done, I've left that. But what I have done is I've gone through all these teams um, I've given the maximum team. I've, I've started by reputation, sorry. So, you know, you've got Europa FC, the biggest club. Um, I think I've given them about 9 million. And I've worked my way down in the millions as I've got lower and lower. Um, some of these teams are professional. Some are semi-professional. None of them are amateur, like in San Marino. But they're very small. And they all played in the same stadium. Which I'm keeping as well. But I thought that'd be quite cool because in the San Marino experiment um, a couple of them shared a stadium most of them didn't but by in, by the time they got to about 20 years into the future most of them had built brand new stadiums so i thought that'd be a nice little touch so let them st all stay there 
and see if they can all build more stadiums over the next 20 years. Now, also with this, I've activated this league myself. Um, and I've, I've gone under the idea, like we did with San Marino, that the Gibraltars have decided to put a bit of money into this. Um, not mega bucks. They've upgraded all the club's facilities. They've, uh, they've got a TV deal. I think it's about 20 million a club per season. So the money, we're not talking mega million. We're talking a few million. It's all about this youth rating, the facilities. Can they get good regens? And can they take the national team, not the domestic league, the national team to the same heights as San Marino? Let's find out. So here we are, the very start of the database. I'll make this one available. Um, you should find it, hopefully. If it's not straight away, just keep looking if you really want to play it. You'll find a, um, a download to the save file for this, and I'll do it in 20 years. Just the same as the San Marino. Because this one's a bit less of an experiment, really. This is more... This is more a bit of fun. And this might be a database you want to play and have a go of yourself. Because someone did point out to me, actually, that there is a San Marino challenge. I know there's a San Marino challenge. I know there's a million challenges where you don't use the editor, right? And it's freaking well hard, right? Well hard. I think it is solid. You have to play about 100 years of San Marino and keep doing a certain thing to get them anywhere decent, right? Fair play to the people that have done that. I've tried and then I died of boredom. But some other people want a bit of a fast track. Some other people want a bit of a fantasy element. This is for you, hopefully. Um, so here we are. You've probably been looking. You'll see the rankings there. World rankings, 205th in the world. You'll also notice the manager. Um, in the last one, I gave then um, Carlo Ancelotti because he was unemployed. Well, this fellow's unemployed and he's pretty quality for, you know, he probably won't stay here. But he's not in Dortmund anymore. Let's give him a good kick up the backside to uh, start their career off. Um, let's go to world rankings. Zoom all the way to the bottom. Um, you should be able to see there. What? Oh, there. What? Ah, oh, so the joint two right. A bit weirded out then. They are joint. Now there's San Marino, an unaltered San Marino in this one. You can see that they are ranked two hundred. So Gibraltar. I mean, look where they are here. Not very good. Not very good at all. So we're having all these facilities, and, and, and it should do. I mean, having these facilities. Um, I mean, better youth, um, a better youth rating should definitely, definitely work again. Um, let's go back on Gibraltar. Now, if we go to their main league, now the second division is on this, but it's not playable. Um, but there is the cup competitions activated. If you do want to play the leagues, um, you won't be able to go down, but you can. You will be playing against them teams. Obviously, this is it. There's only ten teams in the league. That is it. Let's have a quick look at the rules. Yeah, so there you go. If you, if you finish first, I thought it was 9 million, it's 10. Uh, and then it goes down half a million to the bottom place. You get 5.5 million um, TV money. Can I see the TV money anywhere? Maybe you can. I can. I'm sure it's about 20 million, something like that, per club at the start of every year. Um, but yeah, should be a lot of fun. So what we're going to do is, last time, I just jumped 5 years. Didn't like it and then jumped 15. So I'm just going to jump 20 years into the future. Um, and let's see, have they got how many world class players have they got? Have they got any at all? Um, can they win an international trophy like San Marino? I hope, I hope so. Because I think if it works again, then you know, if you want to have fun with a little country, any country, all you got to do is up the youth rating, make the league professional, put game importance to high, um, and give your clubs decent facilities so they can generate these players. And you can have as much fun with whoever you want as you want. Happy days. Right, let's jump forward 20 years and see what's gone down. Here we are. Welcome to the future. It's the 1st of July, 2037. Uh, my voice is going a bit... <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm not good. Right, they're 22nd in the world, which is decent. Now, if you have a look at their world rankings here, they've been 7th. Is that the highest? They've been 9th. I mean, they've dropped back down in certain points. Over the last, what, seven years? Last ten years? They've definitely been a decent side. Which is quite good. The reputation of the league is definitely better. We'll have a look at all this in a minute. Uh, let's have a look who they ranked around. 22nd of England. I'm a Man United fan. Man United are overpowered in this game. Win the league too many times. They're too successful. Because we are crap, right? England! I'm English! And we're over freaking powered! They always win the World Cup. They're always a great team. Football managers made by English people. 
you know what? Someone else needs to buy it. Like a Scottish company. And let Scotland win the World Cup for once. I mean, come on. Look, Colombia up here. Look, where's 22nd, right? It was Sweden, Spain. They're better than Spain. I bet Spain are loving that, say. You know what they're like with Gibraltar? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the manager. He's all right, isn't he? Rafael Bado Blanco. He's Gibraltar. I like that. I like the fact they've got a decent Gibraltar manager in charge. Um, it looks like he's been um, around the clubs. You might not be able to see this because of my head, but he's been at Gibraltar United, Gibraltar Phoenix, Lynx, Gibraltar United. He's been all over. Um, dominated Gibraltar football. Let's have a look at their league. And wow, see, so naturally, the last time I kind of give the San Marino League a better reputation and it crashed. I went down like 100th or something like that. I'm pretty sure it did. And where this, I thought, let's just leave it. Let's give them a few quid, improve the TV money, improve the facilities and leave it. Let's just grow naturally. And it has ninth best league in the world, which is pretty sweet. Better than Turkey, better than Belgium, better than Greece. I'm happy with that. That's good. I'd be interested to see if any of these teams have won a European Cup or anything. Right, have they won anything? Let's have a look. Oh, there's a trophy. Oh, I saw a trophy. Got a bit excited. Um, but it's it's something good. The UEFA Under-21 Championship. Right, here it is. The holders at the minute are Germany. But if we go to past winners, when did they win it? All right, ages ago. Ten years ago. So you expect that team to be good now, wouldn't you? That young team there. Let's have a look if we go back. Let's have a look at the national team. Yeah, let's have a look at the players. Right, straight away you can see some big money players here. Man United have got two of them. We've got this fella, Mark Baglietto, who's pretty decent, good centre half. I like him a lot. Tidy. Good do from United right now. Uh, we've got Connor Travis, who's 23 again, decent midfielder. Got a lot of promise, maybe could improve a little bit more. Um, who else have they got? Jeff Hay, I like that name. He plays for Leicester. Good old Jeff Hay. Again, he's alright. I mean, they're worth a few, Bob. They're better than they, what they would have. I'd say they're not as good. And he's alright as well, isn't he? Who's he play for? Leon. He's alright. Ivan Render, all of these names. I'd say they're not as good, though, as San Marino. But I've not done anything different. Again, a 25-year-old centre half who's decent, plays for Chelsea. It's different. I wonder what why that is. San Marino's league stayed wasn't great. All the players start there and leave. Um, well, similar with this, but they must have some good players in the league because they've um, it's gone out of the rankings on its own. Um, so who's the champions? Roll for FC. Let's have a look at these boys. Right, here they are. Look who the manager is. Man United legend, Robin Van Persie. That's quality. Um, is he any good? Oh, he's all right, isn't he? He's all right. Cheap as chips, 40 and a half grand a week for a manager of that quality. Handsome fellow. Right, let's have a look at the club. Have they won anything good? They've won 12 titles, 12 Dribbot and Rock Cups. Uh, ignore that trophy. It's from something else. The Gibraltar Super Cup does not actually look like that. That's from my APL league. Forget that. Um, but they haven't won anything European. Um, actually, if you go on history, let's just scan through the clubs. Look for European trophy. Any on your European trophy? Anybody? 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 Fortunately, no one's won a European trophy. Let's have a look at the squad itself. Straight away, they've got an 18 million pound player who's from Uruguay. So look, yeah, right. So the league's improved and it looks like they've brought in a lot of players. A lot of Gibraltar players probably leave uh, and they've brought in a lot of players from abroad. Hugo Ortega. I always remember a player called Ariel Ortega. Loved him. He was top on old football manager, chat manager. He's all right. He's all right, isn't he? Let's have a quick scan. Yeah, they've not got anyone massive. You go FC, probably the biggest club, aren't they? Oh, there we go. Who's that? Manchester 62. I've got a fella from South Africa. He's good. I like him. Striker. He's good, isn't he? Oh, they've got Daniel West. English. Good player. How oh, have they got someone like that? From Spurs. Signed him on a free. Turned him into a superstar. He loves it over here at St. Joseph's, doesn't he? I like it. I like it a lot. This is what I wanted to look at. Because last time, I just I improved all San Marino stadiums. I gave them like 15,000 seaters. 
if they were sharing it, I left it. <clears throat> and I let them do it naturally. Um, with this, they all shared the Victoria Stadium. And by the looks of it, nobody plays in the Victoria Stadium anymore. And for a little tiny piece of a rock with a population of 20 odd thousand, um, there's a lot of people coming to a boat to watch football on a Saturday. I mean, St. Joseph now play at the St. Joseph's Gibbs Stadium, which is a 43,000 capacity stadium. Uh, Europe FC have got a 41,000. The Lions Stadium, they've all got this, they've all been imaginative and basically named their, uh, oh, no. Is that the Mikel Salgado? Is that the old Real Madrid right back? What's he doing at Gibraltar United? Did he become a legend? Casting Yankee, do you remember him? <gasps> Blast in the past, I might have to have a go at this, you know. All right, let's have a look. Why have they got a stadium? Where am I going? Why have they got a stadium named after Mikel Salgado? When he's not even, am I missing something? He's not even a legend, he's not on the icons list. They've had Yap Stam as a manager. Ah, <laughs> uh, Carson Yanka. He was a manager. What the heck? God, they've got through some managers, haven't they? Why is it co Wow. God, I could go through all this. It'd take forever. Michael Laudrup. So obviously, we've got Robin Van Persie as a manager. Why not Carson Yanka's been a manager? Some right names have come to Gibraltar. Let's have a look. So obviously, Aaron, don't know who he is. Not a clue. Gibraltar Phoenix. I like that. Let's go down to Gibraltar United. I've got Carson Yanka. He was massive, him, wasn't he? Wasn't he like seven foot? Used to be a right good target, man. Dead determined if I'm right. I'm football manager. Uh, Glasses United FC. I've got this dude. Not sure. Lincoln Red Imps. I've got Nick. <laughs> no way. <coughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. Excuse me, cough. Uh, Lions Gibraltar. All right, let's keep going. Come on. Almina. They've got a region manager. Mauricio Pellegrini. Wow. I mean, he's been a manager of cracky clubs, hasn't he? I mean, he's Southampton in real life, I think, can he at the minute? But he's been manager of Lynx and now St. Joseph's. And he's a he's turned to a cracky manager at 65 years old. So looks like they've got some great managers. They've had some great managers. And I'm even though I'm disappointed, the international team hasn't won a trophy like San Marino and done as well. I mean, it's done good. But they've just been a little step behind on the international level. When it comes to a domestic level, it's well better. Um, so yeah, I'll, this save file as well will be down in the description. If it's not straight away tonight, it will be the day after the video comes out, definitely. I think remember to do it. Um, and this could be a lot of fun to jump into this little world right now. Take over Gibraltar or challenge one of these boys to the uh, whatever it is insurance premier division title quality I've, I've, I love this it's a lot of fun so there you go that's the end of it again it's just a, just a bit more fun this one a bit um, less of an experiment just to look at if it could work again um, and hopefully I might have inspired you to take over a small country do a little few little tweaks and have a bit of fun maybe you come from something like Wales or something you can make Wales a lot of fun and it's not like you're giving them a billion quid, is it? You can change a few things. You could put good 20, 30 years into a long-term save and let it all grow around you um, without having to really, really graft your ass off. Because that's what you have to do. You have to, like, I mean, find some great players. You have to not... You have to sell players to everyone in your own country. It's, it is hard. It is really, really hard. Um, I think Jack Work the Space has done it with Gibraltar on a series a few years ago. It took him a long time. Um, I know second year card was trying to do it in Denmark. So, I mean, it is tough, but you might be a bit lazy like me. So, yeah, save files are down below. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, smash that like button for me. Do us a favor. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. Come and join the family. Again, don't forget to check out my series. It's freaking awesome. Honest. Um, and, yeah, hope you have a nice day. Hope you had a great new year. New year is over. It's 2018. It's going to be a good one for all of us. I've been booed. You've been great. And I'll see you next time.